Hey smart people, how's it going? I hope you guys had a great trading day today. This is just the average guy, although I'm anything but average. And here every morning I break down the stocks that, I'm, that I traded for the day or that I looked at for the day. And today I did a tr some trades. I did one bad trade and two good trades. But I did so bad on that one trade that my two good trades just helped me catch back up to the even so you really got to watch your stop loss we're going to go into it here in a minute first let's take a look at TXMD TXMD Therapeutics MD and I just want to signify that it had a third green candle here you could get it got in here at 316 317 somewhere around there and you could have made a nice little move uh, about three three percent gain, nothing too serious. Ten cents move though, two eighteen to two three twenty eight. Little ten cents move. Let's look at a bigger three third green candle on NUGT. It had a nice crazy Doji action right here. Looked like it was had a big fight between the uh, bulls and bears within the first three minutes, and then the bulls won. Had a nice little percentage gain. No, not, not not that much on a higher price stock. Didn't move a dollar. But let's look at TRNX. TRNX was started off red. Then it had a third green candle here. Nice little 14% gain off of the third green candle here. You can see it caught support here also. Let's zoom in. Boom, I got out the way. Cause caught support here. Right right in the two hundred day moving average, just riding it on out. Which which, you know, that could have just been a coincidence. And at forty three cents or right under forty four cents it caught support here. Point four three eight, point four three nine, got support here, then start riding on up. I missed that whole move there. Let's look at the trades that I actually took today real quick and I got it written down right here alright so let's look at CEI BAM CEI third green candle here I saw it late got in two candles too late should have just really stayed out of the trade cuz remember if I'm gonna buy late I might as well just stay out bought super late at 0.366 ah uh, that is terrible 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 but I ended up riding out to the max up to the max out of the RSI here at the top and I sold at 0.38 at 0.38 cents so right there that was all right got out of the good exit got in with a bad buy so gotta be a little bit more careful with that Let's look at the bad trade for today. Y10. Now you know it's Mondays, and I actually got it written down that I should wait for the dips on Mondays because that's our, that's what I've been seeing is the best play for Mondays because you get a lot of this. You get it where it starts going up. Thought it was going to form a third green candle. Got in at the top of the week at 118, and I didn't even calculate my stop loss yet stop loss should have been at 110 111 and I sold at 103 bad play bad play right there so that caused me the whole day right there a hundred and thirty dollar loss I believe based on a thousand shares so hundred forty dollar loss I believe it was when I was looking at my paper trade account so gotta minimize on the losses here bad trade definitely going to make sure I stick to the dips on Mondays so look at the last trade that I did that helped me bring back my loss just a little bit I missed the big move here didn't follow the strategy all the way through of holding out to the top of the RSI because um, I was you know I was watching it it's moving around a little weird they didn't like the long wicks so I got in here when it was curling up here with the green. I saw that it came below the 7-day RSI big time. So I liked it that. 
I should have known that that was a big indication that I was going to top out on the RSI, at least on the seven day, you know, going off based off of the, uh, the dip here. There's a nice blue color changing dip here. Got down to the 16. I got in at 56 cents, a little high here. Should have got in at 54 for sure. Should have got in at 54 cents here or over, over here. But I got in at 56 cents and I sold here at 60 cents. Sold way too early. Missed out on a 50% move. Jeez, low man. So I gotta follow my strategy to the T because, as you can see, my losses are adding up. The train coming by. So, break that down real quick. I uh, got in at 56 cents. Quickly would have calculated my stop loss here at the bottom if it went down below 53 cents or at 53 cents. Would have been my stop loss. Never came close to touching it. Never came close. And it continued rising up higher. So, gotta learn to stay in there a little bit longer. Gotta learn to calculate my stop loss as soon as I get in the trade. Gotta learn to follow my rules. Discipline, discipline, discipline same thing that keeps coming up all right you guys thank you guys for joining me in my videos if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this every day and i hope to see you guys in the next one